I'm here in uh, Lancaster, town square, or one of the town squares. Okay. Just sitting in this bench. I came down this morning at um, nine o'clock in the morning. We've got half an hour walk to get to here. Um, as always, <laughs> as it happens to me all the time, just I walk 10 meters and some guy stopped with a car and said, Hey, you're going downtown? <laughs> yeah? So he opened the door and I got in. Uh, it's interesting how sometimes we set out to do s things and uh, it not always turns out to be what we expect, right? I looked at the sky, look at that. The sun, the bright incoming spring sun, and uh, I thought, been inside all day yesterday, why not go out for some air, right? And uh, <laughs> walk ten, 10 paces, and then suddenly I'm in a car. <laughs> but it's good to, to adapt to the situation, right? To, to just flow with it. If you block it when it appears, maybe life is intending you to to be somewhere, right? And uh, and I think a lot of people deny themselves of that possibility, right? Because they don't, they're not open to to just being in the moment, right? So I just uh, you you tend to. You are in the moment, but it's impossible not to think ahead, right? So you think, beautiful day, beautiful sun, I'm in this moment, uh, let's go out for some air, right? You go out, you see the road, the countryside, the sheep, you think half an hour walk, right? Immediately you're going into a chronological system, right? Created by man, time. You're thinking ahead, right? So. maybe behind as well because you're thinking of um, what that walk is like and that walk you know about because of your memory right because you've done it before and, and it's there so but then that whole thing disappears right because in that moment you start strolling out car stops and that is life throwing you stuff right now a lot of people in their lives just say no right they just keep to that thing that they they focus on when they come out right and uh, and what if life or a group of someone's <laughs> were just looking down and thinking give him that see what he does with it right oh no didn't get that one Okay, send him that sign. Ah, didn't get it. Okay, uh, just uh, send him a bigger sign, right? What if he fell off his bicycle and broke his knee? Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, now he's in the hospital, right? Now, now he's going to see it, right? Uh, let him connect with that nurse. And the nurse has been coming down a whole different road, right, and has been having her own experiences, right, and, uh, but there you are, locked up into your own self-imaginary journey, right, which is not as such, because the whole thing is something else, right, you keep on going and you keep on falling off your bike, right, and then this group just looks down and says, okay, Wasted run, <laughs> you'll come back again and maybe learn, right? By the end of your life, you've probably got to understand a bit more of how this whole system works, right? But, uh, but what if you wake up one morning and think, I'll just pay more attention 
to this whole game, to this whole theme, right? What if you wake up one morning and think, shit, oh my life is an illusion. I've just been living a lie, right? And I've been surrounded by a circle that buys into it and uh, keeps me there, right? But I'm really empty inside and miserable. That may happen. I've seen it happen a lot of times all along with a lot of people. And it's really interesting when that happens because that there's no right or wrong, right? It's just a good or bad or it's just life and and it happening, right? And us all together into one collective unity, right? So, so when that happens to to one of us, it's really interesting because you, of course you've got the extreme, right? People just uh, throwing themselves out a window, but uh, not a, not talking about that. I'm talking about people really waking up one morning and waking up, right? <laughs> Think about it. I'm just sitting here in Lancaster because I went by there and saw that. I couldn't believe it. Look at that. And in front of it, this empty bench. That for me is a sign, right? walk in, sit down, just been staring at that <laughs> for 10 minutes because I can't believe nature, look at that, the colours, that yellow combined with that green of the grass, right, and uh, that grey of those square tiles made by man, right, it's all one, it's all, it's all the same universe working together, right? And behind it, a tree. And of course, buildings and cars and everything, right? But behind it, the sky. <laughs> so it's all the same thing. The important thing is, how capable are we to acknowledge all this, right? Just just be open and receive it, right? And uh, be aware of the enormous privilege it is to be here. So, wake up in the morning and uh, wake up. And do this every time you have 10 minutes. For me personally, it's not about expensive cars, it's about this, right? The simple things. Looking at that. Incredible. The interesting thing about the whole thing as well, with me, at least, is that then good. Amazing, eh? If I'd walked past and continued my day, I wouldn't have had that either. <laughs> Amazing sound. Oh, as I was saying, for me it's not about expensive cars, but then life throws me into a Mercedes to travel around, so... <laughs> it's all there, right? Just have to open up. 
and you'll get everything. It probably comes when you decide you have nothing, right? <laughs> That's when you really have everything. See you soon, mates. And have a great life. <laughs>